Well, well, well. It it seems as though it seems as though 120 watts fast charge is now a staple. I mean, it's it's crazy how we went from 10 watts. Once upon a time, Samsung told us that 10 watts was fast charge, right? And then we went on to 18 watts, and then we went on to what? 33 watts. Uh, I think there's a 25 watts fast charge before 33 watts. But and then we've got 67 watts there's also 50 watts if there's 40 watts there's 50 watts but 67 watts and then 120 watts which is now a staple it was once a flagship spec but it's now a staple and <laughs> there is 160 watts fast charge there is 210 watts fast charge which is definitely i think you're going to find it on the redmi note 12 turbo i think there's also discovery too yeah and then Xiaomi has done 300 watts fast charge like how you know I mean some of you must be thinking about it how well this is inquisitive universe and thankfully Xiaomi have let us you know like into their little secret like how they are uh, managed to get up to 120 watts fast charge so that's what we're going to be talking about on this video let's get in right away <music> All right, the um, the 120 watts fast charge first showed up on the Mi 11i 5G. Yeah, that was in 2021, if I am not mistaken, right? That was in 2021, by the way. So it has made its way down from the flagship level into the mid-range. And you can now find it on devices like um, the uh, Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus 5G. And, you know, I think it's come to stay. And I think Xiaomi are the only, uh, amongst the, you know, the, 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 the world power, so to speak, who are in the arms race for who would get the fastest charge. I think Xiaomi are the only ones who are probably committed to bringing fast charge all the way down to the mid-range segment. And that's probably driving the prices of phones up, but that's a different topic entirely. Let's give them kudos for now for what they're doing. So how do you achieve 120 watts fast charge? Well, definitely you may, you not you may, you need to rethink or definitely I think the engineers at Xiaomi probably had this brainstorming you would need to rethink the way um, the way the way batteries are being charged and that's exactly what they did they, they retort the whole process now the first thing they did was to split the battery into two cells a single battery unit is called a cell so when you divide it into two it becomes two cells so I mean if you charge one battery let's say it takes um, let's say it takes an hour 30 minutes to charge a 5000 milliampere battery full if you split the battery into two and then charge both simultaneously significantly you've halved the time of charging it that was the first thing they did they split the battery into two cells and then charged both at the same time so that first of all cut the charging time in half that was the first thing they did um secondly the second thing they did was that they then each cell had its own charge pump basically now a charge pump uh, is a type of dc to dc converter i think that's what's in my notes here that uses capacitors to raise or lower the voltage so basically what they did was that they split the battery into two units and then they put in each cell had its own charge pump and they drove you know like basically they drove the voltage up so it's not just enough to have the charging time they also drove you know like the voltage up which you know you take advantage of the rapid phase to charge that battery which was actually very very intelligent to do so that was the first thing that they did then the second thing that they did is a practice that they called multi-tab winding now multi-tab winding is basically opening like when i think i already done a video of how smartphone batteries work you should probably find it somewhere on the top of your screen or further along as the video goes on depending on who is editing this one now for battery to charge current has to travel from the cathode the electrons now have to travel from the cathode lithium ion lithium electrons have to travel from the cathode and then move all the way to the anode now if you have only one um, connection and auto cathode connection all the electrons are going to have to queue up and wait to be able to use that connection to move back but if you open up several different connections and auto cathode and auto cathode and auto cathode and vice versa it creates multiple routes for you know electrons or current to travel from the cathode to the anode to quickly fill up the battery I mean, think of, let's say they will have a ton of people inside the hall or inside the stadium. I mean, which one would be faster for all of them to get out? A single door or we have several doors that are easily accessible. So that's what we mean by multi-tab winding. Multi-tab winding helps make the battery to charge even faster. 
and finally you've got what Xiaomi are calling MIFC. Now on standard phones using standard fast charge methods, as soon as the battery gets to around 80 because there's so much current pumping into the battery, what happens is that they scale back, you know, they, they lower the voltage for charging and then the battery gets into a stage called, you know, like slow charge and then finally trickle charge. So most phones only ever really fast charge from zero to around 70 or 80 percent. That's why you see on most phones when you charge up to 70, 80 percent, the charge time becomes like really slow. You get because they're trying to protect your phone from having extra voltage and then over you know, over indulging the battery and then the battery goes boom, right? But with um, the technology that Xiaomi calls MIFC, they are able to monitor the battery voltage and the battery current and then also the battery temperature in real time and then they can be able to you know just like you know push the voltage a little bit more right so that they can be able to charge that that, that trickle phase that slow charge and trickle phase they are able to scale it even further all the way further up to maybe 95 96 97 before then switching over to trickle charge so the first thing um, let me recap once more the first thing that they did was that they split the battery into two units and then give each cell or each unit its own charge pump that's how they raised the voltage right and then the second thing that they did was that you know they uh they opened uh, you know several tabs multi-tabs you know different uh, connection points for the uh, current to be able to travel from the cathode to the anode faster which would then also cut down on charging time and then also they have finally what's called mifc mifc is used to you know like keep the voltage up a little bit more so that you know the trickle uh, the slow charge phase and the trickle charge phase is you know limited so that the battery charges even faster uh in addition to this in addition to this xiaomi uses what is called uh, a, a graphene based lithium battery which increases the connectivity of the battery itself and then it causes the current to travel even faster and when you put all of this together into the 120 you know, watts hypercharge fast charge system uh, the 120 watts fast charge can charge a 4,000 uh, milliampere battery in 15 minutes and a 5,000 milliampere battery in 17 minutes. These are crazy fast speeds, but the 300 watts fast charge can do that in five minutes. But I, I don't know. I think basically these are it's probably the same process or, or something akin to that sort. But yeah. So now with 120 watts, which you know that amount of power pouring into the battery, it is a real. A real fire hazard there is real risks of you know your phone going boah, boom you know on the back so how do we or how did they you know solve this problem and it's very simple um, they went about it in a multi-pronged approach the first thing that they did was that there are 34 they, they included 34 charging and uh, uh, battery safety features on their phone so it starts with the charger the charger has you know um safety shortcuts there uh circuit breakers and stuff there's also on the circuits inside the phone as well as within the battery itself and there are also nine thermal sensors in and around the battery that monitor the temperature in real time in collaboration with the mifc so this all ensure that the charging is safe now inside the battery itself there's high and low temperature charge and discharge protection there's also overcharge protection and then in the circuit there is a uh, overheating shutdown protection if the circuit senses that you know the thermal the thermal uh, sensors there you know alert the circuit that yo this this baby is hot the phone can shut down like you know these battery sensors here can simply just shut down the phone and say you know what die before you explode or something yeah so also if you um it's not just in the batteries and the circuit itself in the charger as well like i said there is over voltage over temperature there's cable encryption there's over current and over voltage protection so even if the charging is fine but you know if something happened to your power supply and the power supply was ramped up the charger is going to take the hit instead of you know like letting you know that extra voltage pass on to your smartphone as well and then the battery is also designed and uh, because with fast charge when, when fast charge comes when fast charge happens when you fast charge your phone a lot you're going to be using up the battery cycles very quickly and that could re lead to a reduction of the battery lifespan i've already done a video on this a battery lifespan you know of your battery but xiaomi is telling people that you know even after 800 charge cycles that you still have 80 percent you know of your battery capacity still left because you know fast charge drains battery uh battery capacity very quickly i've also done a video on that one as well so what do you think of you know xiaomi's methods i think they are the only ones that i have seen who have actually come out and put out this information that hey this is how we achieved our fast charge i don't really think other companies have done so but yeah with that we've come 
to the end of this video do you like what you heard do you like the information then please be sure to leave a like and subscribe and share this content with your friends with your families with your enemies hey okay just make sure you share this stuff thank you very much for doing so yeah so what do you think about xiaomi's 120 watts hypercharge and you know what do you think is going to happen when people uh, when it becomes you know, like a staple when people use it do you think it's going to blow up people's phones do you think it's going to destroy battery capacities or do you think it's safe uh, has anybody uh, used uh, the 120 watts fast charge for an extended period of time please let me know what you think leave comments i'm always in my comment section so we'll come to the end of this one i guess i will see you um in the comments and in the next video bye bye